Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, oh wow, I'm so glad you found us. This is the place where we dive deep into the world of zodiac, numerology, angel numbers, tarot, and all things spiritual. And today we've got something super exciting lined up. We're taking a closer look at the water signs of the zodiac. So if you've ever wondered what makes Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces so unique, you're in the right place. Let's explore the mysteries of these intuitive and emotionally driven signs together. Ready? Let's dive in. All right, so let's start with the basics. In astrology, the zodiac is split into four elements, fire, earth, air, and of course, water. Water signs are known for their emotional depth, sensitivity, and powerful intuition. They are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, each one with its own unique qualities, but they all share this deep connection to emotions, the subconscious, and empathy. So what exactly does it mean to be a water sign? Hmm, well just like actual water, these signs can be fluid, adaptable, and let's be honest, a little mysterious at times, right? Let's take a quick look at some core traits. You'll find in water signs, Water signs feel everything on a deep level, and they can pick up on the emotions of others without even a word being spoken. Wild, huh? They care so deeply about the people in their lives and have this natural, empathetic vibe that makes them wonderful caregivers. Water signs often have a rich inner world, which translates into a strong creative streak. Whether it's art, music, or writing, they're always finding ways to express their feelings. How cool is that? Water signs are connected to their gut instincts and can sense things on a spiritual or emotional level long before others even catch on. Whoa, right? But just like water can be both calm and turbulent, water signs have their share of strengths and challenges. Let's start by focusing on the good side of these emotionally rich signs. Water signs are the best listeners. Like when you need a shoulder to cry on or someone to confide in, they're always there, fully present and offering heartfelt advice. You know what I mean? They understand emotional layers that most people totally overlook. Their ability to read between the lines makes them excellent at offering guidance. Seriously, they're like emotional detectives. Their intuition is often spot on. Ever had a water sign just know something was going to happen before it even unfolded? Yeah, it's almost spooky. Water signs are incredibly creative. Whether through art, music, or storytelling, they have a unique way of expressing emotions that can inspire and heal. Ugh, it's so beautiful. Think of them as the emotional healers of the zodiac. They're the ones who comfort and uplift others, always bringing love and support to those around them. But hey, before we continue, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest astrology, numerology, and spiritual content. You don't want to miss out, right? I'd also love to hear from you. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on water signs. Do you agree with the traits we've covered so far? Are there any points you'd like to add? And if you have any suggestions for future videos or topics you want us to explore, let me know. Your feedback means so much to me and I'm always excited to hear what you have to say. Now, like all signs, water signs aren't without their challenges. Sometimes their emotions run so deep that they can get the best of them. Water signs can be overly sensitive. Ugh, they often take things so personally and can easily get hurt by criticism or harsh words. It's tough out there. Their emotions can be as unpredictable as the tides, making them difficult to understand at times. One minute calm, the next whoosh, emotional waves everywhere. When things get tough, water signs may prefer to retreat into their own world, avoiding reality rather than facing it. Can anyone relate? Because they're so compassionate, they can be too trusting, which sometimes leads to being taken advantage of or hurt. Oh no, these emotional ups and downs can make water signs seem distant or even volatile at times. But hey, with a little self-awareness, they can totally balance their feelings and use their emotional intelligence as a powerful tool. Now, let's take a closer look at each water sign individually and explore what makes them unique. Cancer, June 23rd, July 22. Nurturing, protective, family-oriented, sentimental. Aw. Compassionate, caring, and fiercely loyal to loved ones. Can be clingy, insecure, and struggle with letting go of the past. Cancers are like the mothers of the zodiac. 
They're incredibly protective of the people they love, creating strong emotional bonds, but sometimes, oh man, they get stuck in their emotional shell and have a really hard time moving on from the past. Scorpio, 23rd, November 21. Passionate, intense, magnetic, secretive. Ooh, strong-willed, determined, and deeply intuitive. Can be jealous, controlling, and prone to obsession. Scorpios are the detectives of the Zodiac. Their passion and intensity drive them to uncover hidden truths, and they're laser-focused when they want something. But they need to keep an eye on those possessive tendencies, right? Pisces, February 19th to March 20. Dreamy, compassionate, artistic, spiritual. Ah, so dreamy. Imaginative, selfless, deeply empathetic. Can be escapist, overly trusting, and emotionally overwhelmed. Pisces are the dreamers of the zodiac. They're incredibly empathetic and creative, often losing themselves in their imagination. But, uh-oh, they need to watch out for that tendency to avoid reality, especially when things get tough. So, in the end, water signs bring a lot of emotional depth, compassion, and intuition into the zodiac. Whether you're a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, you're guided by your emotions. And with that comes both incredible strengths and, well, some potential challenges. By embracing who you are, you can totally find balance and navigate the emotional tides of life. Cool, huh? Now, are you a water sign? Let me know in the comments if you relate to these traits and how being a water sign shows up in your life. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more astrology insights. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay connected to your intuition and keep flowing with the energy of the universe.